What's going on, everybody? It's your buddy Will here from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. Um, back with you here. I, you know, if you've been watching my channel over the last three years, I'm fascinated by perfect circles or things that look like spheres. This is from one of the new souls. Uh, I forget which one of my subscribers pointed this out to me. It may even have been over at the forums. I get so many emails and so many times I pulled this up, but I wanted to take a look at a couple of these. I've got probably three videos myself. My buddy over at Alien Art TV, Joe White, he's done a couple of them. And what they're, the Martian Blueberries made a big stink about it when it came out, uh, when Opportunity Rover found them as well. Here's So here's one from the new one. Here's another view of it here. Check this out. These are pretty cool. And also, there's, this one's sitting next to something pretty interesting as well. Whatever in the world this is here. Um, they look like definitely water had run through here. Now, they're saying that these are hematite um, concretions. So, what we call these, we have these, basically what they are and what they're called here on Earth is uh, Moki marbles. Here's another one I found. Here's something else we found. Now, when they're found here on Earth, they're usually found in bunches. Here's another one of these. Now, when I show it to you, it doesn't really have that same, you know, you would think it would look as iron oxide. This is basically iron oxide. It's amazing how these little suckers make themselves from what they say. Everything out there from uh, people to the UFO, uh, or this is how they power their UFOs and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure that's not the case, but there are a lot of cool ones out there. Um, here, they, Here's my two right here. I just dumped in my yard and I added some of the... Uh, some of the Mars look to it and I can't get that same coloring of it but either way that's what it look, here's what two look like on earth and I put a couple marbles in there <laughs> I could put a couple of rocks in there with it um, but they've totally fascinated me some of the ones we've seen here look like perfect perfect spheres now granted these aren't huge and we're talking like about the size of this some of them uh, that we could tell that because they're coming from the mass cam and also from the shots around it. Let me put those down. I, I got that at a crystal show probably 10 years ago. I got a huge collection of crystals. Um, I bet you a lot of you guys out there too who watch my videos can't go without the crystals. But this one right here, like I said, this is the same one as this. And if you go, let me show you where we got these from. And here's, here's some pictures of these when I was holding up here. Um, they come in saucer shape. They're pretty neat how uh, they were actually come in these different sizes. Like they find these all over Utah. Here we are. Let's, let's take a look at this one. This is the Grand Staircase. Yeah, they, they call them Moki Marbles. Like I said, they're iron. They're basically iron pieces. Let's pull that up. I'm sure there's a website behind this. And they say they're hematite concretions, what they say. Here it was right there. I actually looked should have looked this one before and here's this the real th small blueberries and they were this is this was huge back and i forget it was like 2000 and uh let's see what, what year were these actually here and this is a article from uh, nat geo wondering if these were meteorites or concretions now yeah so these were point six, like 1.6 inches or four centimeters diameter and these are re some really 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 small ones that were up there so either way I think these things are just cool, and I love to hear what you guys think about these things. Like I said, it could be rocks. There could be nothing uh, out of the ordinary about this. This is the actual picture for one of the Opportunity ones. It's pretty cool. This was from the Fram Crater. I mean, that one right there is pretty slick, but these, this is supposedly NASA put that false color to it. That's supposedly what it looks like. Now, this one up here is the one that I've got the Mars. Uh, I've got it on mine since I couldn't get it. You can't get that from anywhere but the uh, this one right here. You can only get this at the PDS, at the Planetary Database System. You can't get that um, by just going to the website. Because if you just go to the website, you're only going to come up with this one right here. They backfill these a lot when there's some interesting stuff on them. So this one I picked up was a, this is a lossless image. Uh, the quality of these are absolutely amazing. You can zoom real close to them and you don't lose hardly anything at all when it comes to resolution so these are the mysteries of the moki marbles and there's more and more everywhere we go now they're not in, like we said i saw on earth they're you know just in these certain locations that's it i guess they had very uh very 
strict, I guess, ways of making them. But when they did were found here on Earth, they were found in such abundance. I mean, like that grand staircase we just looked at. Where was that? As my cat's over there trying to get in and out. Here they are here. You know, and they also call them these the shaman stones. So, and the shaman stone also called the shamanic star stones. Smoky marbles or smoky balls. Thunderballs are stones of harmony and balance. So, I am sending you guys some healing and some harmony and balance. It's great to be back on. I got some cool stuff coming up. I uh, basically have this huge list of ones I'm going down. And I'm going to bust them all out. Like I said, I it's time to get back to the videos i've got so many people have sent me and uh, a lot of the gigapans that i want to go over keith some of keith some of todd's from my site so stay tuned to everybody like i, said, I just wanted to show you the, another one of these little perfect spheres so they're all over the place but they're not in big packs like this so who knows all right guys much love good to be talking to you guys again